What you doing? Oh, hey, I'm just, I've been working all day long, you know, like packing, unpacking, putting stuff away. I am like, so exhausted. I swear, I swear, if I disappear, you're gonna find me packed away in a box somewhere. <laughs> For real. But wow. I did get a lot done. So. I can't help but notice you didn't put the Halloween stuff away. Well, you know we in Halloween. I, I was kind of nostalgic going through some of the decorations yeah. and stuff. And besides that, it's a perfect opportunity to celebrate halfway to Halloween! Welcome to Smokey Steve and Mark. I'm Mark. Steve. Oh, and welcome to our Halfway to Halloween celebration. Oh, <laughs> I love it when it's twice a year. Oh, I do too. I oh do. my gosh, we're gonna have so much fun, y'all. We are. We have so much to do. Oh, we, we have projects, we have recipes. We may take a little trip. A little spooky yeah, trip. We take a trip there. Our top five favorites are back. We're gonna have a giveaway, mm -hmm. and we're even gonna take a look back at the last four years of Spooky Stephen Mark. Mm -hmm. ah, oh, that's like my favorite time of year. Spooky Stephen Mark is so so much fun. It really is. Yeah. In fact, uh, all the artwork that we're gonna use in the video tonight, mm -hmm. all those pictures, yeah, they're from the last, the four, last four years, years. of Halloween. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that ought to be a lot yeah. of fun too. So. You know, what the heck is halfway to Halloween anyway? Well, it's halfway between last Halloween and the future coming up Halloween. Yep, yes it is. And May 1st is the official, official midway point between last Halloween and next Halloween. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you, you know, this official, unofficial holiday is getting like bigger and bigger every single year. Good. Yeah, I agree, <laughs> you know, because it's, it's much to the delight of Halloween heads like us. <laughs> yes, it's a real word. <laughs> but no, more and more people and, and businesses and uh, and local communities are <laughs> getting involved in Halfway to Halloween every year. Even Disney got on board. Yes, they did. They rolled out their Halfway to Halloween festivities over a week ago. So cool. And there's many, many others too. For example, check out Shudder. Oh man, Shudder, they rolled out an entire month long lineup of all new horror movies. And you get a discount on their streaming service too. Ooh. And they're celebrating their 40th anniversary as well, all at the same time. <laughs> That's so cool. Spirit Halloween, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Big discounts all month long. And they yeah. brought back some retired decorations that people were writing in that they wanted them to bring back all for halfway to Halloween. I love Spirit yeah. Halloween. Oh, I do too. It brings in the season. It know? does, it does. And a lot of people don't realize that they are a year-round company too. You can you can buy stuff from Spirit Halloween all year long. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And another one of my favorite places is an online shop called Trendy Halloween and they have 20% off site-wide mm -hmm. and even Amazon is getting in on the fun. You can Shop sale and clearance Halloween merchandise on Amazon. <laughs> That's so cool. That's just a few. That's just yeah. a few. And, yeah, just a few. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of local events too. You know, uh, you know, you can look in your local uh, community and see if they're yeah. doing anything for halfway to Halloween. Because you know me. I mean, any excuse. Well, to celebrate in general, but to celebrate Halloween, Halloween yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have like a quarter of our way to Halloween, and then three quarters of our way to Halloween. And... Yep, yep. One week, one month. One... Okay, no, we won't do that. All right, no, all right. That's too stop. much fun. But I tell you, our last two apartments, our bathroom was Halloween themed. themed. All, you know, all year round. So yeah. I, uh, we're definitely Halloween heads here. But you know what's I found really exciting this year, even. Broadway has gotten in on the fun of this. They have an all like brand new horror play out, and I am so stoked to. Well, here, take a look. When a couple crashes their car in the mountains, they seek shelter in an isolated cabin. Its inhabitants, though somewhat unusual, are eager to make their guest feel right at home. But as the blizzard outside rages on, and one night turns into several, the couple becomes less and less sure of what's true about their hosts, themselves, and why that sound in the wall keeps getting louder. Broadway has a new horror play, 
Levi Holloway's Grey House is directed by two-time Tony Award winner Joe Mantello and stars two-time Tony Award winner Laurie Metcalf. The show is running now at the Historic Lyceum Theater in Manhattan. I am so thrilled. I am so excited about that play. I am, I just, you know, we're going to have to get tickets to see it because it is right up my alley. Like, I haven't been to a play or a musical in so long. And Laurie Metcalf in it. And, it, and it's a spooky play. Oh, yes. We're definitely going to get tickets. We have to. And we'll take you along with us. Well... I don't know if we're allowed to do that with a Broadway play, but we'll see what happens anyway. <laughs> so it turns out that Halfway to Halloween actually has its roots many years, uh, thousands and thousands of years ago with Purgis Night, right? But we're going to talk a little bit about that later. Right now, I thought it would be fun to talk about the ways that we can celebrate Halfway to Halloween. And basically, anything you would do around Halloween... It's totally okay to do now at halfway to Halloween, like playing some spooky music. Oh, it's the mash, ch -ch, the monster mash. Uh -uh. Yeah, you know what I mean, right? Oh, I think spooky music is so, so much fun. How about throwing a halfway to Halloween party? Or what about just a halfway to Halloween themed dinner? That would be so awesome, wouldn't it? Even if it's just for your family or you and your significant other. I think that would be a fantastic idea, personally. <laughs> and how about welcoming in the sense of the season? Now, this is actually a throwback that we did a couple years ago here uh, on the channel for Halfway to Halloween. It's an autumn simmer pot. So, I went ahead and revamped the recipe there for you, and I added some essential oil oil recipes as well that you can use in your diffusers, you know, to bring in the sense of autumn and Halloween. So easy to do, y'all. You just put all those ingredients in a pot, bring it to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then just keep adding water to it as it evaporates and your entire house will smell oh it'll smell so so awesome so definitely give that a try i'll share that over on our social medias too so you can uh, you can print it out if you uh if you want to do that and of course probably the funnest out of all of this decorations, right? How about decorating for Halloween for a week or two? Why not? In fact, Stephen's in the other room right now. He's actually making a decoration for our halfway to Halloween celebration. Do you want to go, go check out what he's doing? Come on, let's go see what he's doing. And on the topic of decor and decorations, you couldn't possibly have Halfway to Halloween without a jack-o'-lantern, right? Okay, so it's hard to get jack-o'-lanterns this time of year. Besides, it's gonna be bloody hot. So instead, we are going to carve a watermelon. It's got a thick skin, it could be pretty. Plus, it's summer. Watermelon is, is summertime. So first thing we're gonna need to do is take off a lump of this so it'll stand up flat. Um, there was only two watermelons available, at the market when I ordered yesterday, and this was the prettiest. So I'm using a bread knife to take off the bottom. Be careful, safety first, and um, when I come back covered in bandages, you'll see why. <laughs> All right, then. now that he's flat, see we took a bit off the bottom. Ta-da! Look at this. It even has like a little lazy Susan thing going. So be careful. Use a pumpkin carving set if you can find one, or if it's been your, you know, Halloween decorations. But I'm gonna go in with a knife, and I'm gonna just around the top to pull it off, just like you would with any other um, gourd that you were carving. Alrighty, there's the top. Now, of course, it, it begins now. That is perfectly delicious watermelon sitting there. So, chop that off, put it to the side. So this will be our lid, and if for whatever reason it doesn't fit, the bottom will be our lid. We will make it work. Um, so like a pumpkin, you have to go in and scoop out the seeds and all the gore and all the other stuff in it. Watermelon, I'm gonna go in with a scoop, usually used for cupcakes or ice cream, get some of these out, and then save all the watermelon. So this could take me a hot minute, but I'm just gonna do this, and then we'll be back for the carving part right after, okay? Okay, so here we are. Now, let's share some lessons learned. 
as we went through the process. So as I had cut the bottom off, when digging, be careful, because if you bust a hole in the bottom, like I did, it's going to want to drain. Also, a towel is good to put it on so it doesn't wiggle as much. The spinning table is kind of nice, and pick a sharp instrument you're comfortable with. Also, I switched instruments a few times to get the watermelon out. I needed two bowls about yay big, plus all the water with it. I'm gonna make, I'm attempting to make dehydrated watermelon. Um, so I'm gonna play with this later, so hopefully it won't go to waste. Now, jack-o-lantern wouldn't be a jack-o-lantern without eyes, nose, and a mouth. So I'm gonna go in, and I guess we'll go this way. I'm gonna cut in a couple eyes, nose, mouth, even with jack-o-lanterns, it's not my strong suit, but we're doing this. So let me see, let's, let's cut an eye out, shall we? We have an eye. All right, I'll catch up with you in a bit. A few moments later. Dun, 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 dun. Not bad, huh? So, like I said, not my strong suit, but we have a watermelon jack-o'-lantern. And of course he's got a lid. Yes, I gendered it. Um, it's a little not the perfect fit because I did have to trim it a little bit to make sure I could get more stuff out. Um, I'm gonna go track down a candle of some sort. Mark's good for stuff like that. And um, we'll be back and I'll give you the final show, okay? All right, everybody. So as you can see, we've got a candle burning. Cut some straw, this is all Mark's doing, of course. And then we have our jack-o'-lantern and we're just gonna drop him on top and give him a little, a little signage here. And there you have it. You're halfway to Halloween, watermelon jack-o'-lantern. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. Not Considering I was working with barely a tools at all. Um, I know, gosh. But it did come he a lot likes of time. the little saws. And yeah, the little, you know, but it's whatever. very cute. Tip, definitely, I thought I cut too much of the bottom off. I cut off enough that you could put the candle in the base of it. Oh, and, and then, then set it on and top. And then set the whole yeah. thing on top of the candle rather than try to, because it's not like a pumpkin. You're not going to hit a bottom. Right. Um, right. You're just going to keep scooping and it's going to be rounded. So, mm -hmm. really easy trick. It was kind of those serendipitous things. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, no, I messed it up. Oh, wait, it's perfect. Mm hmm And, mm -hmm. um, he looks so cool. He and does. then when you add that little sign to it, it lets everyone know it's halfway to Halloween. Because, you yeah. know, you want people to, like, think, what the heck? Is there a jack-o'-lantern out there? Like the new neighbors are odd. <laughs> odd, right? No, but it's so cool. I love it. And now we have a ton of watermelon to eat, too. Mm -hmm. How did your dried watermelon turn you out? You know, it came out good. I'm going to try it again because I had different size pieces and stuff. It tastes like candy. It, it actually does. I did it's try it. It was good. And it wasn't the sweetest watermelon I ever had, but it was so good. Yeah. So, if I can get it film-worthy, we'll show you sometime. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. And then I have one last little tip about how to celebrate halfway to Halloween. Obviously, I know. Have a spooky movie night, or watch one of your favorite spooky uh, programs on the TV or something. And we're here to help you out with that, with just a little something, you know. Mm -hmm. Our top five favorite segment, it's back! <laughs> We're counting down our top five favorite whatever and anything goes from food to travel to products and entertainment and it all begins right now. So let's get started, shall we? Photography is a great blessing. We're able to keep detailed visual records of how the world changes and, of course, for those precious memories we hold so dear to our hearts. Of course, some photos are more appealing than others, though. From chilling memories of sinister events to otherwise harmless pictures that look disturbing to modern viewers, here are our top five favorite creepy historical pictures. 
This photo is a behind-the-scenes picture from the Madame Tussauds Waxwork Museum in London. While the exact date of this photo was unknown, historians attribute it to around 1925 when the museum burned to the ground, leaving a lot of half-melted statues behind. Now, these models have technically survived the blaze, but definitely look, well, a little unsettling. Clowns creep you out? <laughs> Me too. Well, our number four photo depicts Ronald McDonald all the way back in 1963, and he looks significantly different. It's not surprising that the character was given a makeover to make him look more appealing, well, and to fix the fact that his nose is just an ordinary drink cup. In this incarnation, Ronald McDonald is played by none other than Willard Scott, who would go on to be the weatherman for NBC. NBC's Today Show. This is an example of trick photography. This photo would have been very trendy during this era, as there are huge archives of similar headless photographs achieved by exposing the same photo twice. While most such photos involve people holding their own heads, this one takes on a disturbing double meaning. The man literally and figuratively holds his wife's mental health in his hand. Coming in at number two is the Cabaret of Hell. It was a popular attraction in Paris a century ago. Constructed in 1892, it thrilled patrons with spooky cabaret shows and is one of the earliest examples of a themed restaurant. Sadly, the Cabaret of Hell was demolished in 1950, which was a tremendous loss to horror enthusiasts visiting Paris for some spooky fun entertainment. These residents of Survival Town in Nevada are not long for this world. Soon after this photo was taken, the entire area was decimated by a nuclear explosion as part of Operation Teapot, a test by the U.S. government to see how well American infrastructure would survive such explosions. False towns were built in the desert and made to look as realistic as possible, right down to the inclusion of creepy realistic mannequins to simulate actual people. I wonder if they know what's coming. And there you have it, our top five favorite creepy historical pictures. Spooky, huh? Creepy. Mm -hmm. I think that could we could do probably one, two, three more of those with just creepy historical pictures. Yeah, and what, what, yeah. so yeah. Well, those are just a few ways that you could celebrate uh, halfway to Halloween, and I mean, you know, more than anything else, halfway to Halloween is is our chance to start the countdown to Halloween 2023. <laughs> and you know what? But I have a project. You know, we had to have a project, I right? We have a project. I've been wanting to do this project for quite some time. Time now. Now, in the past halfway to Halloween's here on the channel, we always did a um, Halloween planter of some sort, or we actually did a plot out in the garden last yeah, year. Did. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we watch it grow all summer, leading up to Halloween. And uh, well, today we're gonna do something well similar. We're gonna do a spooky succulent planter for Halloween. <laughs> Succulents are all the rage. It seems like everybody loves them. I think some of them look actually pretty creepy. You know, like from another planet or like maybe they're growing in like a dark, creepy forest or something, you know? Just perfect for our project today. So let's get started, shall we? And it all starts with the pot. <laughs> so pick a pot, any pot. You can do any size you like, okay? I picked a big one here because I'm trying to do, um, I'm doing, uh, I want it to be like a focal point, you know, like kind of dramatic, kind of like draw attention to it. So I went with a pretty big one here. It's plastic, um, but I do like it and I think it'll turn out nice, okay? The only thing you want to make sure is that it does have drainage holes in the bottom of it. As you can see, I got to drill a couple in there. So our first step, oh yeah, we need to spookify our pot. 
For that, I need to grab <laughs> a tool. Uh, okay. <laughs> and there we have it. <laughs> so I was looking for like, you know, like a, a rustic or like a broken look to it. And I think we achieved that. And I saved all the little pieces too, okay? We're going to use that later. So now our next step. Let's talk soil, shall we? So grab yourself some uh, succulent mix here, or uh, any cactus mix or succulent mix will work perfectly. Or you can even make your own by just getting a good quality potting soil and then mixing it up with some sand or some perlite. There's a zillion recipes over uh, you know, on the internet there for that, okay? And then what we're gonna do is fill our pot up with our soil. Okay, so our dirt is in. And then, so I just used some of our broken pieces of pot here to kind of create like another little level there, you know, so. All right, our next step, ooh, and the fun part, the plants are succulents. Oh, yes. Now, okay, I am not going to, um, I'm not going to list every single succulent I have here for you, but I did make a little reference sheet of all of the succulents that I'm, I'm going to be using in my planter today in case you like them. Now, I'll go ahead and put that over on our social medias if you want to, um, if you want to print it out. You know, if you happen to like these plants, it'll list their name, their common name, where they're from, you know, just so you know. But I got a couple cool ones in there. Ooh! And now we're just going to put them, uh, place them in our uh, planter here. So all you're gonna wanna do is gently kind of loosen him up and then lift him out of the pot like that, exposing all the roots there. And then we're just gonna kind of give it a little squeeze Dun, dun, dun. Just to loosen it up. We don't have to break it apart or anything like that. We're just going to loosen the soil up a tad bit. Just like that, okay? And then, set you down there. And then, all you're going to do is, with your fingers or with a spoon or one of those tiny little shovels, you're just going to make a little hole in the soil about the same size as the soil that's around the roots of your succulent. And then you're just gonna place them in there and then just kinda push the soil around like that. And that's all there is to it. And then of course, repeat, 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 repeat with all the plants you have. Oh, okay, and by the way, if you are using some cacti, definitely wear gloves, okay? Because even if some of them, even if you can't see them and it might look like they don't have any uh, spines on them, they do. They have tiny little ones that stick in your fingertips. I know from experience. Yeah, it's painful. It is. Dun, 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 and ta-da! <laughs> Looks nice, huh? Oh, I love how it turned out. Okay, so um, we have all of our succulents and our cacti in there. And this, um, th this is real living moss. Um, like that. I have, I have some growing right out front. It's pretty healthy too. And as long as I keep that moist and, uh, and don't expose it to like too, too much sun, this moss will continue to grow in here, you know. But since this is a spooky planter, even if it dies, it's going to look so cool. It is. <laughs> okay. Yes. We need to accessorize our planter, right? It is supposed to be spooky and Kind of a little nod to Halloween too, right? So I just got all kinds of little Halloween accessories here. Um, just like the little things that you would use in a village maybe. You know, there's some gravestones and, uh, uh, you know, this uh, is, oh, this admittedly, this is my favorite part of any project like this. You know, doing the little, you know, accessorizing with it. Oh yeah. Here, let's start with, um, look at the coffin. We'll 
put him in there. And let's see, we'll put this in there. Do I need more? I don't think I, I think this might be, I, I think this is, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Here's another door, but it is pretty cute, isn't it? I kind of went with a graveyard theme, I guess. There's some gravestones in there and Planter. some jack So this is really, you know, because of halfway to Halloween. So uh, we're making this for Halloween. So we have to let people know that, right? Oh, yes. We gotta count down the days to Halloween, right? Oh, and it's so simple to make. I just, these are just dowel rods and scrap wood that I, I hot glued together with a little moss on there. And the sign there, this piece here, it's just this piece of scrap wood that I put a chalkboard tape on it. And then we can change the day every day, counting down to Halloween. So we gotta put him right in here. There we go! Ah, what do you think of the trees? Remember we made these uh, last Halloween? Um, these were uh, just uh, uh, the plastic little trees from the dollar store, and then we made little bats out of ribbon by just tying them in a knot there. We used it for a cake, I think. <gasps> All right, well, oh man, I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I did. Like I said, I have been wanting to share this for so long. I've actually been wanting to do it for so long and I finally had a chance to do it. So there you have it. Our spooky succulent planter for halfway to Halloween. Ah! Our projects. Very proud of me. Very <laughs> proud of making. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. I love the way they turned out. I yeah. do. Oh. And I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a late convert to succulents. I, yeah. I only started getting into them a year or two ago, but I think they're they're pretty cool. But everybody, they're so trendy. Everybody just loves them. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh my gosh, well, I'm, I, I've been having so much fun tonight. We have so much more to get to. We didn't even do a recipe. We no. didn't. We, 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 <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, our recipe, we still have that spooky trip to take. Yes, we, we do. still have like. Did you hear that? I, I swear, it. every time we do something Halloween y, weird stuff happens. It, it really, really does. It's the I bone. It might be that bone. I don't know. Ah, what the. Mark? Mark? Fanta, have you seen him? Mark's missing. Guys, guys, it's true. I've disappeared and I need your help to find me, okay? From now until Monday, Please send your best guess of where I am. Now, I was able to go back in time a little with the help of the magic remote control. Those of you who know, know. And I was able to put a couple clues in today's video as to my whereabouts, okay? So, use those clues, make your best guess of where I am, and send them into our email address or any of our social media direct messages, okay? Now, you have until Monday, May the 8th at 5 o'clock to get your guesses in. And you will be rewarded for all of your hard work and help. One lucky winner will win an SSAM hat Halfway to Halloween gift bag, and it has a spooky t-shirt and candles and all kinds of good stuff in it. 
including a $25 Amazon gift card. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm counting on you. I need your help. Please find me.